di supermarket Stop and Shop di pinggiran Boston negara bagian Massachusetts, pelanggan tak hanya disambut pegawai saat berbelanja kebutuhan dapur. I was like, whoa, Stop and Shop has this. And the more I just see him around, the more I got used to him. So it's just more about getting used to things. Dengan berbagai sensornya, Marty membantu pegawai supermarket menjaga kebersihan. Marty is an autonomous robot. Marty is used to identify hazards such as spills, liquid spills, powder, bulk food, and by Marty able to identify hazards, it frees our associates up and saves them time uh, so they can better serve our customers. Armada robot masing-masing bernama Marty dikerahkan di ratusan supermarket Stop and Shop, tak hanya di Massachusetts, tapi juga di Connecticut, Rhode Island, hingga New Jersey. So he will stop at the spill and, you know, say if it's an aisle three, um, he will pay through the PA system, clean up an aisle three, so an associate knows then to go over uh, to aisle three. Marty will be stopped and flashing, um, hence identifying some sort of hazard on the ground. So at that point, someone has to clean up the spill, um, take care of it, and then there's a button we hit on Marty, and after we hit that button, he takes a picture and moves on with his route. Penggunaan Mardi berawal pada 2019 sebelum terjadinya pandemi COVID yang menyuburkan penggunaan robot. Mardi sendiri tidak bisa membersihkan lantai supermarket dan fungsinya memang sekedar membantu para pekerja supermarket tersebut. Banyak robot memang ditujukan untuk membantu pekerja manusia, diantaranya dalam industri restoran. Robot belum bisa mengemas apalagi memasak makanan, tapi sekedar berfungsi dalam pengiriman ke pemesan termasuk robot buatan Starship Technologies yang melayani pemesanan makanan di kampus Bowling Green State University di negara bagian Ohio. About three to four times a week, uh, most of my classes, right after I get out, the robot just pulls up just in time for me to get some lunch. Sebelum pandemi, Starship Technologies memiliki hanya 250 robot. Kini perusahaan bermarkas di San Francisco, California ini memiliki seribu lebih robot. It's gone from being really a, a just a nice thing to have to really more of an essential service and you know our, our students are loving it. Yandex bermarkas di Rusia juga memperluas robot-robot pengirimannya termasuk ke kampus Ohio State University di Columbus, Ohio. I think right now we're at that point where for something like these delivery rovers the technology we believe is really ready to roll out um, in a big way. We're likely to see a lot of quick expansion and the expansion is being accelerated one by COVID and two by the labor shortage. Tadinya robot pengirim dirancang untuk dikerahkan ke jalanan kota-kota besar, tapi akhirnya lebih sesuai untuk kawasan semi tertutup seperti kampus. Dari Washington DC, Nova Purwadi dan tim VOA.